Hello, today we're gonna talk about the Sigma 105mm f2.8 EX DGOS HSM for Canon EF mount, which is the mount for Canon full frame DSLRs. This can be also used on uh, crop sensor Canon DSLRs and also with an adapter uh, USR to EF on the newest Canon full frame mirrorless cameras. So today we're gonna look at the build quality, the handling, the sharpness and the vignetting of uh, this lens and try to come up with the conclusion. So uh, this lens was released way back in uh, 2011. Uh, the first uh, impression I can say it's a, a good, decent uh, build quality. No, uh, no flaws, no big flaws to see on it. Uh, it's, it's not that big. It's uh, comparable to the Canon uh, 105 macro cam uh, lens. Sorry. Uh, so it has a length of 12 centimeters and uh, a weight of uh, just 450 grams. Uh, it has a um, a uh, diameter of 62 millimeters of the filter and the maximum 78 uh, diameter. Uh, it's uh, built out of 16 lenses grouped in uh, nine, uh, sorry, in 11 uh, groups, and uh, it has a nine aperture blades for that smooth bokeh. Uh, the front uh, element doesn't extend, neither rotate while focusing. This is important, this is good. Um, we have a focus scale here, which is in meters, uh, feet, and also we have a magnification ratio starting from uh, 1 to 1, 1 to 1.2, 1 to 1.5, 1 to two, one to three, one to five. This is the this is the standard, let's say, uh, macro capability of a standard lens of a non-macro lens, and one to ten. Uh, when it focuses to um, one to one ratio, the subject will be like fourteen centimeters from the front element because this thirty-one centimeters. Uh, is the distance of the subject until to uh, to the the sensor so it includes the the 12 centimeters of the of the lens uh, on the side we can see three switches with can we can say they they move pretty good so it, it's it's pretty short on position you, you cannot easily accidentally uh, switch it yeah, from one position to another. And the three are the, um, the focus, uh, the autofocus capability. So we can set it to full. We can set it to uh, 45 centimeters to infinity. And we can also set it to uh, 31 centimeters to 45 centimeters when, it, when it's in macro mode. When, when you don't use it in macro mode, it's good to, to not put it to full, but to put it 45 centimeters to infinity, so that the focus, the autofocus will be uh, faster, uh, because it doesn't have to, to move the glass inside uh, all the way to, to, to macro. Uh, the next one is, of course, the autofocus or manual focus switch. And uh, the last switch is for uh, OS, optical stabilization, it's MB to off can be set to 1, which is the normal uh, working, and to 2, for example, if you want to shoot moving subjects, or maybe you can you want to do some uh, panning. Um, the focus ring, I can say it turns very, very smoothly, battery smoothly. Let's see how, how long it goes from, let's say, closest, from uh, macro 1 to 1, to infinity goes to almost uh, uh, let's try again now it's it's not half turn but it's uh, it's 
more than a third of a, a full uh, turn. Uh, on the back it has a metal mount. We can see the rear elements are a bit uh, recessed uh, inside. Okay, and um, the, it comes it comes with a with a hood. Okay, so uh, to to try to ignore uh, uh, flaring, and there is also an extender if you put it on a crop camera. Uh, there is an extender to put it because when you could put it on a crop camera, it goes from. Um, the actual physical one, 105 millimeters, to an equivalent of uh, 170 millimeters, and um, that's why uh, it's it's useful that one. And uh, while we speak of it, yes, we today we're gonna test this um, lens on a Canon uh, 250D camera, which is a crop sensor. It's important to to say that, so it's not tested on a on a full frame camera uh, and it's this exact camera on which we're filming right now so yeah let's uh, let's go through all the tests we're filming on a canon us 250d so the crop sensor f 2.8 it's a good sharpness really good in the center but something happens in the corner really bad it looks like out of focus still at f4 in the corner doesn't look right doesn't look good f5.6 the center great sharpness but it was again very good from the f2.8 and still not really good in the corner some improvement in the corner f8 uh, and again really sharp in the center f11 center continues to be really sharp and let's see yes finally good corners f16 diffraction effects we can see creeping in i really don't know what happened f f2.8 in the corner because it should be like an f4 on the crop sensor let's look now at the vignetting we can uh, see some slight vignetting at f2.8 but uh, much improved at f4 and it's quite as light until f8 in the end i think this is a good lens so uh, remember it's full frame it's uh, fast f2.8 really sharp on full frame uh, sensors full frame cameras uh, pretty sharp on uh, crop sensors uh, that uh, nine uh, aperture blades should give you a, a smooth nice uh, bokeh the the build quality it's pretty good uh, you can use it as a macro but it can be also a good portrait lens uh, you can take advantage on uh, adv uh, advantage on the crop sensor that uh, this 100 and uh, 105 millimeters becomes uh, more like a uh, 170 so uh, to more, be more precise 168 millimeters on a crop sensor so it can be uh, a bit more telephoto and um, yeah i do recommend it in the end if you enjoy these videos i'm producing please uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, give a like uh, a like and a nice thought maybe in the comments or whatever question you may have Till next time, bye bye.